Integrated Math 1 practice test. We're finally into subpart 2, so that's a calculator section. We're on question number 10. Um, the question says a system of functions is given, select all values of x to the nearest tenth for its f of x is equal to g of x. Now depending on your level of calculator, whatever you're going to use, there's a bunch of different ways to solve this. The thing about any function is that I can find specific points inside that function by substituting x values or my inputs or my independent variables and the value that comes out of this function would be my matching y value so if you don't have something that you can graph with this one does graph but I'm just saying this is a possibility if you substitute appropriately the values for x you can see where the f of x values that come from those inputs uh, create the same output for g of x and those would be points of overlap. A system really is looking at where the two lines or where the two uh, curves in this case intersect, where they run into each other. That would also be a part where they share the same value. So if you substitute in 4, this is not true in this question by the way, if you substitute in 4 and you get 5 for f of x and you substitute 4 and get 5 for g of x, it means they share that point. Visually that means that they would intersect at 4, 5. So I'm going to do this visually with a graph first, I guess, and then substitute it in, even though I was kind of going down the not doing it that way path, but whatever. I'm going to shift courses here. I'm going to check my window and make sure that looks okay. It looks fine. So negative x squared. It would help if I'd actually picked x, right? And now I've gotten myself into the weeds. So x delete that and make sure that if you type these in that you click out from when you raise this up to a power make sure that it's not still putting things in the um, you know in the superscript up here where it's an exponent because you'll find out that you didn't annoy yourself by having to go back and fix it all So I'll just make sure these are lined up exactly how I want them. 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. All oh, that looks great. So I'm going to graph it. And what I'm looking for is points of intersection. So probably something in here and probably something over here. I can find those specific points of intersection by looking for intersect. And it'll say, is this the first curve? And I'll look for this little spidery thing. And yeah, that's the first one. It just means, is that one of the two curves? And you're saying yes. They, they ask you that question in case there's many curves on there. It can pick out the specific two that you're asking about. And then they'll say guess. They're like, well, where is it? What do you want me to do? And it says negative 2.7-ish. Ends up somewhere around 4.1. So they want to know all of the x values, not the f of x value. They want to know where the x value is that does it. So this is one of my two values. The other one, I can hit second trace again and look for another intersection. It'll ask me about the curves again because it's just making sure. And then when I guess, I need to bring my little spider mark over here to point out that intersection and it tells me at uh, 0.369, so somewhere around 0.4 right in there. And based on what I've been given, there aren't any more intersections because visually they only intersect here and here. Remember, don't pick 5.1 because it's the y value. That's what they're banking on, by the way. They're asking about x, so you'll notice that 4.1 and 5.1 are both there because they want you to pick that and be wrong. That's just how the questions are set up, so just be aware of it. Now, what happens if like your calculator doesn't graph? And that's the answer, by the way, A and D. I don't, I don't have that calculator. I have something else. That's fine. You can still get the answer if you're using a calculator, or you could do it without one, whatever. Um, but as long as you substitute the values incorrectly, if you get the same value for both, then you can say that there's an intersection. So I'll do negative 2.7. Be careful it's negative x squared because this is negative 2.7 you have to put negative negative 2.7 so really wherever there is an x value you need to put parentheses around it with nothing else so you'll notice there's two negatives right next to each other separated by parentheses 
That's okay. That's what you want. So going back, uh, minus 2 times negative 2.7 plus 6. It gives me 4.11. And then for the other one, make sure you put the squared on the outside because negative 2.7 in parentheses and that squared is not the same as negative 2.7 squared because of order of operations. One of them applies the negative at the end. But you don't want to apply the negative at the end. You want to do negative 2.7 times negative 2.7. I pull that out, and it'll be within the same general area because it's rounding a little bit. So as long as you're close, you're probably good to go there. So this is super close. So I leave it like that's good. And then the other one we said was 0.4, so I'll do the same thing. I'll do the g of x first because I've already started it. Five point three two. You're also welcome to hand graph these. It would take a long time to make that a thing that would be worth your while, but you could still get the intersections that way. It'd be super difficult in the time allotted, so I'm just trying to give you reasonable stuff. 5.32, 5.4, they're pretty close. Um, so what they've done is they've sort of rounded it out, and they're expecting that you graph it. But you can show that they're kind of cl close. Whereas if I do 4.1, it's not going to give me anything close to each other. So there's that, and then so you know we're near. So as long as they're within a few points, uh, like a few decimals, uh, you're probably okay to accept them as correct. But what they're really looking for you to do is graph it. But there you go. You're looking for a system. You're looking for intersections between them. The best move is to graph them, find those intersections, and make sure you identify the right part. This is A and D. Don't fall for their tricks, and because you ended up getting 5.1 for both or whatever, you pick 5.1 and 4.1. That would be you know, kind of ridiculous. Make sure you pick the thing they ask you for so you don't miss a question that you do all the work for just because you're hurrying through and not thinking about what the words say. Uh, in this case, those words matter because they're, you know, creating a trap for you.